Yes, guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel. Now, I know that match day one hasn't actually finished yet, uh, but to obviously get these out before uh, match day two starts tomorrow, I've decided to do this right now. So, what I will say is that I have had a very poor week. I've only had three points so far. Um, yeah, no perfect scores. Uh, there have been a very, you know, I have been close on a couple of occasions as well, but hasn't been a very, very good, uh, good week for me. In the comments, there has been two people that are on eight points at this moment in time. It is Matts and Reese Woods, both on eight points. So very, very well done to both of you. Also, sending our best wishes to Christian Eriksson, who is in a, a Danish hospital right now. Um, that was one of the most horrifying things I've seen on a uh, football pitch. Um, and I'm, obviously, we're all glad that he is obviously safe and well in hospital. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he will be okay uh, to, well... No, maybe not. Can maybe not uh, not continue football at this moment in time, but maybe continue football later on um, when he's fully fully recovered. So yeah, best wishes to Christian Eriksen. That is for sure. So match day number two will start with the game between Finland and Russia in Group B. Um, what we'll say is that Finland. You know, this result is obviously taking the shine off of things as a Finland actually won their first game at a Euro competition. Um, look, it was a very, very good 1 0 win. Yes, the game should never have been played again, played straight away um, after the Ericsson incident. I, I can gather that, but. It's a very very good win for Finland, and they'll they'll be they'll be looking they'll be looking forward to playing a Russia side who, let's be honest, were blown away by Belgium in the end, three 0 defeat, um, and Russia weren't great. They were not great at all. So it's a tricky one to call this one. Um, it's a really really interesting game. This one, I'm going to go for a one 0 win to Russia. I think Russia will bounce back uh, with this one, and I think they will beat Finland. Uh, so I'm going to go 1-0 to Russia. And then we have Turkey against Wales. Um, both of these sides off the back of, well, what I would say was very poor results. Turkey, a 3-0 defeat to Italy. Wales, a 1-1 draw with Switzerland. Look, I think Turkey were... They were good in the first half, but that second half, Italy came out and absolutely dominated from start to finish. So it was a good one. It was a good one for Italy, but Turkey they'll they'll be hoping to you know bounce back. Uh, that is for sure. Wales, I mean Kiefer Moore, great header, great header to get them off the off the mark with the the goal. But apart from that, they weren't great. It wasn't a great game, actually. I think you know Danny Ward played very well in the Wales goal. That is for sure, but. I just look at Wales and I just think they're just... It's not great. Look, obviously Ryan Giggs is obviously you know not taking charge of, of uh, you know, Wales. But even then, you would you would expect you would expect Wales to be doing a lot, lot better under Rob Page. Um, I think he got some of his subs wrong as well. I think the, the times of the subs could have been uh, a little bit quicker, but... Apart from that, I, I can only really see a Turkey win in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to uh, Turkey. So, sorry, Nathan, uh, Blue Blurred Legend, uh, Cup Council, and also um, Rich Sports um, as well. I, I just got a feeling that Turkey will win by two goals to nil. And now we have Italy against Switzerland coming up in this one. Italy, 3-0 uh, win against Turkey. Switzerland a one-one draw with uh, with Wales. Uh, look, I have to say Italy were fantastic. Uh, Berardi, Immobile, and the you know the star man was definitely Insigne. Spinazzola at uh, left back. He looked pretty pretty good as well. Italy were fantastic. Barella in midfield. Uh, Gian Luigi Donnarumma. You could have probably put a uh, a dressing gown, slippers, and had a pipe. 
in your mouth because it was a that easy a night for you. Uh, look, Italy were fantastic, and people have obviously you know written them off as potential uh, Euros winners. I think they are definitely a dark horse for sure. I think they're definitely a dark horse. So. It could have made it very interesting. Switzerland, as I've said, one one draw with Wales. Yeah, it's 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 disappointing. It's disappointing to see them, you know, draw with Wales. But what I will say, I do think that this might be a uh, Italy win. I think Italy will win this one. Uh Switzerland will go into the final game against Turkey, hoping to, you know, get a win or anything like that, but I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Italy in this one. <clears throat> and now, two of the surprise packages of the last game, um, Ukraine and North Macedonia. Now, Ukraine, a 3-2 defeat to Holland, but I have to say, 2-0 down, got to 2-2, Yarmolenko were one of the goals of the tournament. Absolute stunning goal, that one. Um... And, you know, I thought Ukraine played very, very well under Andrei Shevchenko. They, they attack very, very well. I like I like Shevchenko's style of play. Where you've got North Macedonia, who I thought were fantastic against Austria. Uh, very unlucky to lose 3-1 in the end. Um, look, it was one of those things that, you know, I thought... I was watching this game. And I have to say, I thought Austria played well enough... I thought North Macedonia, I think that result was harsh on them. I do think that result was harsh on them. So I'm actually going to go for a, I'm going to go for a Ukraine win. I think Ukraine will win. But North Macedonia, look, Goran Pandev at the age of 37, very, very good for him to score uh, a goal. Uh, great to see him score. So I think Ukraine will win. I'm going to go for a... I'll go for a 2-1 win to Ukraine. I think it'll be a tight game. Uh, expect North Macedonia to score, but we will see what happens uh, for sure. And now we have Denmark against Belgium. Now, obviously, the Denmark overshadows things. There was the Christian Eriksen incident, and then they went on to lose 1-0 against Finland. Look, I don't think their, their minds are in it at this moment in time. They'll be obviously one to see. Um, they'll be obviously one to see how Ericsson is doing, etc. But it wasn't a great game uh, to watch. Uh, I thought Denmark were the better team against Finland, but you know that the decision to play that game, especially after Ericsson's you know collapse, was ridiculous. It was really, really ridiculous. So you know they got an uphill battle now, um, but. You'd have to say they're probably going to give Belgium a good game. Belgium, 3-0 win over Russia. Very, very good. Lukaku looking excellent as well. So I'm going to have to go for a Belgium win. I think Denmark might score, though. I think Denmark might score. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Belgium. I don't think there's going to be many goals in this game, but we shall see anyway. And now we have Netherlands against Austria. Look, Netherlands played very, very well. Very, very well indeed. I think the one thing I will say is that uh, Van Alden was very, very good. It was also good to see Dumfries didn't give up on his chances. Had a couple of chances and then, you know, scored uh, scored a very good goal. A like very good header as well. Um, but... Dutch look really shaky at the back. Uh, that's one thing I have noticed, actually, is they look very, very shaky at the back. Uh, De Ligt is injured, uh, so it'll be interesting to see if he makes the game against Austria. Austria, 3-1 win over uh, North Macedonia. Good to see Marco Nautovic back on the score sheet. Sabitzer was one of the players of the, 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 the that pitch uh, on, on that game. I uh, thought he was excellent. So... It's a tricky one to call. I'm going to go for a 2 woman to Netherlands um, as well. I'm going to go for Netherlands to win by two goals to one against Austria. Sweden against Slovakia. Spain against Sweden is one of those games I'm not going to get 96 minutes back of my life. That was a shocking, shocking game. Not made uh, bad by the fact that both sides were hit badly by COVID as well. Um <clears throat> But I thought Isaac played well for Sweden. Um, Robin Olsen was man of the match. Absolutely fantastic performance from him. Slovakia, great win against Poland. I know Poland went down to 10 men, but you have to say, Marek Hamzig, Robert Mack, 
uh, Milan Skriniar, even the goalkeeper Dubravka had a, had a very, very good game uh, as well. So I'm going to say that I think Slovakia will beat Sweden. I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Slovakia and uh, that would probably put them through to the next round. <clears throat> And now we have Croatia against Czech Republic. Croatia losing 1-0 to England. Czech Republic winning 2-0 against Scotland. Look, I have to say, I think Croatia uh, were very, very poor against England. Did not test Jordan Pickford well enough at all. I know Czech Republic won 2-0 against Scotland. But apart from that, they weren't great against Scotland uh, but Patrick Schick was the, the big you know the main difference uh, for sure and uh, they, pl- they played they played they played okay in patches um, but it's a great one for Czech Republic and you know if they beat uh, Croatia then they'll probably go through to the next round and obviously with a big one coming up next uh, as well I'm gonna actually going to go for Czech Republic to beat Croatia I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to uh, Czech Republic right. I am going to go for a 1-0 win to Czech Republic. England against Scotland. It's that, it's that old enemy game. Yes, we've not had it for a long, long time. Uh, it's 2017, I think it was. Um, June the 10th, 2017, where Scotland managed to get a 2-2 draw with England. Only thing is, that was at Hampden Park. This is at Wembley. Who knows? Who knows this is going to be very, very interesting. That is for sure. Uh, Look, England, uh, they played well against Croatia, but people are overhyping them. I'm I'm sorry, but 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 they are they are over overhyping this England performance against Croatia. It yes, it was a good win. I can get that. I can get that. It was a very very good win. But don't say it's like oh yeah. Player like Sterling, Sterling apart from his goal had a very poor game. Simple, simple as that. I, I didn't think Sterling had a very good game. I thought Tyrone Mings at the back. I didn't think he was that great. I did not think he was that great. But then again, it's probably you know me being uh, a Scotsman and watching the England performance. But for me, I didn't think England were that great. I didn't think they were that great. And, you know, managed to get a, a win against a very poor Croatia side, it has to be said. But this is the game everybody wants to watch. Scotland losing 2-0 to Czech Republic. And Scotland actually played very well against Czech Republic, not to get anything out of it. Uh, it was a very, very, uh, well, damaging defeat because it's probably a chance to get, uh, you know... Scotland will probably look at this England game and think, yeah, we can get something from it. Uh, the big news for England, though, is that Dean Henderson has dropped out of the Euro squad and has been replaced by Aaron Ramsdale, the goalkeeper who got relegated with Bournemouth and relegated with Sheffield United, is now in the England team. Congratulations to Aaron Ramsdale. There's no no denying that, but. Uh, it was a very, very interesting uh, selection from Gareth Southgate. So, England, Scotland, everyone's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. What's my prediction? I can only really see England winning this one, unfortunately. I think it'll be tight, though, and I do think Scotland will score. I am going to say Scotland will score against England. I think Lyndon Dykes and Che Adams up front will definitely give John Stones uh, and possibly Tyrone Mings a very, very good game of it uh, as well. Um, So I am going to go for a 2-1 win to England. I do think England will win this one, sadly. And it would put them through to the next round as well. And now we have two games... Uh, from Group F, Hungary against France. Now, obviously, Hungary and Portugal haven't played yet. Uh, but again, Hungary will definitely be at home. They will be at the Ferenc Puskas Arena. And that stadium is actually full capacity now. So very, very interesting. Very, very intriguing to see how well they will do. Uh, France, as I've said, they're in Munich tonight against to play Germany. So... Really interesting one, this one. But I'm going to go for a 2 one to France. I think France will be too strong for Hungary. And this one, Portugal against Germany. Portugal have a very poor record against Germany, it has to be said. Um, but this is a very, very good side. But they are playing Hungary tonight. Be interesting to see how well they do uh, in that game. And then, obviously, they will be playing uh, Germany on... Um, 
I think it's Saturday. I think it's Saturday, the, the next games for, for these two. Uh, so, Portugal, Germany. Tricky one to call, but I'm going to go for Portugal to win 2-1 uh, in this one. And then we have Spain against Poland. It was a very Spain-full performance from Spain. Okay, I'll get my coat. That was a terrible, terrible gag. Uh, but I have to say, you know, Morata, Morata, Morata. Shocking, 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 shocking. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, it was not great. <laughs> it was not great, was it? Um, look, it, Morata flyers to deceive every time he goes onto the pitch, that's for sure. Um, Poland, 2-1 defeat to Slovakia. And if you stop Robert Lewandowski, you stop Poland. Simple as that. And Poland were very, very poor. But I'm going to go for Spain to beat Poland. I'm going to go for them to win by one goal to nil. And that will do match week. Ma uh, get your words in, Douglas. Match day number two done and dusted. As I have said, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And like Matt and Reese Woods, you will get a shout out in the next video. So I'm going to go for my predictions very, very quickly as well. So we're Finland nil, Russia one. <clears throat> Turkey 2, Wales 0. Italy 2, Switzerland 0. Ukraine 2, North Macedonia 1. Denmark 1, Belgium 2. Sweden 0, Slovakia 1. Croatia 0, Czech Republic 1. England 2, Scotland 1. Uh, Hungary 1, France 2. Portugal 2, Germany 1. And Spain 1, Poland 0. So that is it. That is match day number 2 done and dusted. As I've said, leave predictions in the comment section down below. And we will see what happens in these match day number 2 fixtures. Shall be very, very interesting to see what will happen as well. But uh, until then, it is goodbye from me. If you do like the content, please hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video as well. And check out all the other Euro 2020 uh, videos that are on the, the channel and or on this uh, playlist as well. I will leave the playlist in the description box for you to go and have a look and until then it is goodbye from me and i'll see you all in the next video take care bye bye for now